Since the snow from this brutal winter has melted, the water level on many area lakes has risen, and that can cause some land masses to move. Earlier this week, a land mass broke off from the shores of Gilbert Lake in Brainerd, creating a bog that has made it difficult for boats and canoes to get to the other side of the lake. This one looks big in the photos. Um, I did a rough estimate on the size, and this is, I wasn't out there, but guesstimated probably 75 by 125, something like that. Comparing the size of this bog to the one that closed the Legionville Safety Summer Camp last year, this one is considerably smaller, but it's still capable of causing damage to docks and other property. It's, it's not even close to the same scale. and I mean, it doesn't mean that it's not a big deal and that it's, you know, people aren't concerned about it. But yeah, it's not even close to the same scale as we did with last year. Now, the DNR does not normally assist in removing bogs simply because they do not have enough staff members. But they do issue permits and give advice on what to do with the landmass. We'll give them permission to either remove it, which is usually an expensive option, and they don't, you know, most people don't want to do that because, again, it gets really expensive. And the second option is to move it and then stake it down. The DNR has issued a permit to the Gilbert Lake Association. And according to the DNR, the Lake Association plans on moving the bog to the west side of the lake. It belongs in the lake, um, and that's why we always try to do some sort of compromise and some sort of permit that's going to work out for both parties. There's actually a lot of public land on that small basin to the west, so that's what they're going to do. They're going to move it into that basin and then stake it down in there. This land mass is small enough that it should be an easy fix but it probably won't be the last bog that we see this year. Most of our lakes are in a high water situation right now, so yeah, I expect to hear and see more. Reporting from Brainerd, Anthony Scott, Lakeland News.